Hello dear viewers, uh, back again for my bi-yearly tutorial and contribution to this channel that I'm way too lazy to uh, do anything on. And boom, this is the end product. You just click, you drag, with a few extra effects you can even have it shattering and match up with the level colours. And You try to avoid the laser, but you suck at your own game, and you die. And that's what you end up with. <laughs> Just that sort of effect. So we'll get into how to do that now. So you start with a blank scene. I've just added a camera here. I've set the tag to main camera and the projection to orthographic. I've dragged a player in. This is one I made earlier. You can just use anything. And a little box. So this is what we've got so far. So it just starts. The player's got some a rigid body and it'll just bounce off the little thing. So we want to be able to draw lines. So we're going to create a object. We'll just call it click to draw and we're going to dra uh, drag a new script on there. We're just going to call it click to draw tutorial. And we can open this up and start from scratch. So we're only going to need a few things. We'll start off with the variables. You're going to need a line renderer, which is the current path that we're working on. You're going to need a prefab for that line renderer or you can make it every time you draw a new line, but I feel it's easier to start with a prefab and then you can just edit that little details that you want afterwards. And a boolean for whether or not we've currently got the touchdown, so if we're dragging the uh, line along. So we're going to basically have a function for touch start, touch drag and touch end. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, when you click down this is going to call, when you um, click up, unclick it's going to do this and while it's dragging, while it's down, it's going to do this. So this is how you'd get the uh, touch start going, input dot get mouse down, get mouse button down zero, which is the left mouse button. When that's down, this will be called on that frame. So it's not one that's just constantly called and we'll call touch start, which will just set touch down to true. And if touch down is true, We'll drag unless we get mouse button up, which is you've unclicked. If we do get mouse button up, then we'll do touch end and we'll set touch down to false. So we can just test that quickly. Just make sure it's all working. If we save that, let it compile and play. You'll see that now we, pr we put, press the mouse button down, we get touch down and then up. So touch start and then you'll get a bunch of touch drags every update until you release and you get touch end. So again, just touch down, touch start, touch drag, <laughs> touch end. Oh, I said it like that, <laughs> but that's the gist of it. So now we can actually work on start filling these um, functions with something. So we'll start with the touch start function, which is basically the what we have there, but the only addition is we're going to say path current equals instantiate. So we're going to create this path, um, just vector 3.0, just at, at position zero. So that's what we'll move. We'll just move the points themselves. We won't move the actual whole entire path. So you can use um, local space or world space, it doesn't matter on the path. And this is the path I've got. I've just made it a prefab. Brand new uh, path, the only thing I've changed is the layer it's on because I need it to interact with the player. Obviously you might not have to do this if you haven't messed with the layers. And I've set a colour, I've set, um, I think that's it, uh, the width of course, 0.13 so it's not a huge line and that's basically it. If you make it from scratch you're going to have to do stuff like setting the width and colour and even the material so it's a bit long, I'd rather do it like this. And I've also added an edge collider, again you, you could add, add an edge collider instead of pressing get edge collider you do add get coll uh, edge collider but by adding it here I can also set the material quite easily so yeah it's quite it, it's quite straightforward I just drag that here and then on my player sorry on my uh, click to draw function I'll drag that there I don't actually need this here so touch start just sets touch down to true and then creates the actual path we're going to be working with touch drag is more complex. It starts off by getting the screen to world point. So the input dot mouse position will show you where your mouse is. 
regardless of where the camera is, but you want the screen to wild position because that will actually change based on your camera's movements and stuff. So we can do that quite easily by just press uh, saying path current, which we set up here, dot position count plus plus. So every, every frame, every time we're dragging, we're adding a position. We want the location of that position. So path current dot set position and that takes in the index and the position and we want the index to be the uh, path current dot position count minus one which is the last position there. So that's the last position we can set, the one we just created and we want to set that to the new position we've just made. And you'll see we're making the line renderer but obviously we haven't done anything with the edge collider so it goes right through so we'll work on that last part now so once we have battle wave after wave of enemies while upgrading your defenses all in the hopes of finding a new home for humanity above the stars no one will sponsor me so i've got to plug in my own 15 second ads <laughs> check it out links below so once we have the line renderer we've stopped drawing after we've made it we can actually turn that line renderer into an edge collider and it's quite easy to do first we need a vector to hold all the points um, we can just do that by going vector 3 points make a new array of uh, vector 3s and um, the size we want for that is the all the positions in the line renderer that's how big we want it to be and then we use this function which is the path current so the line renderer dot get positions and it puts it into points. So if you'll see that, it's uh, I think it should say out point, but get all the positions of the vertices in the line. So basically, it puts it into this array. All right. So first, we get the edge collider, or as I said, you can add it here if you haven't got it already on your prefab. If you're just making it as is, and then we're gonna actually to set the points on the edge collider. We can't just say points equals um, points because the points is a vector three array. This returns a vector three. So said we need to convert that into a vector2 array. So I have this as an extension method for the vector3 class. So I can just on any vector3 I can go put like dot two vector2 array. So if I have an array of vector3s I'll just turn it into a vector2s. And that's um, here, vector3 array to vector2 array. And all that does is take an array of vector3s and does system or dot array dot convert all vector3 to vector2. And it basically runs it through this uh, method here, which is that one. And all that does is take a vector 3 and return a new vector 2, which is just the x and y values of the vector 3. So that's pretty straightforward. If you want, you don't have to make an extension class. For example, I could just copy this here and just get rid of that and make these all private instead and then instead of calling it like that you just call it like this right so now this is calling that and that is that is here I think or it might be over there but it's the same thing so that is how you do it if we save that now and boom done easy enough right and that is how you make a little bouncy character in 60 seconds. Or if you're watching this version of the video, 22 minutes. Jesus Christ. Hopefully I can cut this down. Um, uh, that's all I've got for now. Thanks a lot for watching. Check out Hexagon. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's still in open testing right now, so get it before I manage to add ads to it. <laughs> I think that's the only part I've got left to do that in a few more levels. But... Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day. I shall see you guys in another half a year. <laughs>